How you doing on this gloomy day? It's gray outside, I wanna run away. I was told once you gotta learn to love the rain. How you doing? Don't run away Hello. Today, on episode three, I'd like to talk about what my logo represents. Interesting. No, seriously though, um, I do want to talk about my logo. You might be asking yourself. Yo, miss, I had no idea you even had a logo. And that's totally reasonable. Um, this is my logo. It's pretty simple. It's just dots, right? You might notice a little cross in the, the top dot, um, and I'll get to why maybe in a bit. Um, but there's a reason why the logo looks like what it does. Initially, when, when I saw the logo, which was designed by my amazing manager, who I won't mention. I don't like putting people on blast unless they ask. Um, he's very good at design and all that. Initially, when I asked him, sent me this image and it was very simple. I looked at it and I thought, this is cool. And it didn't really have a meaning initially to me. Logos don't need to mean anything. And in a lot of cases, they don't. Sometimes just making something out of the blue develops its own meaning. I think I heard somewhere that Coldplay, they sort of just picked their name out of a, like a poetry book. And if you think of the name Coldplay, it's just like, what does that even mean? I don't think it meant anything to them. Eventually, it just started to take meaning in the fans' eyes, right? So it, things don't need to have, you know, any specific meaning. Eventually, it takes form of its own, and that's sort of what happened for me. I want to just take a step back a second and and explain my vantage point before I go into the full explanation of what the dots mean. Um, I always appreciated art that has a defined beginning, middle, and end. Things that have sort of failed in this regard are, are something like, like Lost, Heroes, Scrubs. I don't know why I'm just talking about TV shows. I, I love TV shows, but I, I think I'm traumatized by so many things that I loved becoming sort of bad at the end because they didn't have a defined ending. They, they didn't know when to stop. So the dots to me represent when I want to end this project. When I want to end this project. I have an arc planned for everything I'm doing. Right now, I've completed two albums, and there are six dots. In my mind, each dot represents another world and another character. Life in Boxes is the first dot. Soldier is the second dot. I'm trying to tell an overall story, and I don't want to give away too much about what the story is, but each one of these dots represents another world or planet. I guess. The cross in the first dot, I know this is all very convoluted, but this is just how my mind looks at it. The cross in the first dot represents an already explored planet or explored world. And um, by the time Soldier came around, there was a cross in the first dot because Life in Boxes was already explored. So right now I've completed two albums and I've, you know, that are, that are out on Spotify and I've completed another one, which I'll talk about more in the future. That's what all the dots mean to me. Oh my God, editing this video is gonna be s such a nightmare. Yeah, I know it it's all it seems like really like specific and detailed, but I think I need to think through the, the specifics of what I'm doing in order to make it have more meaning for me. I, I decided that recently like talking a bit more about like my process or how I'm looking at what I'm doing 
is important. So yeah, I, I, I wanted to let people who really care know what the, the, the logo means to me. Um, I, I, I don't want to explain specifically like what it means yet, because as time goes on, I want to uncover more. But that's like a good place to start. That's that's what the those those uh, dots or planets represent to me. But yeah, um, thank you for spending your day with me on this gloomy day. It's really weird. Yesterday was like a clear sky, but it was gray outside. It was the weirdest thing. I think the next video is going to be about something else. So take it easy.